Thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Vulcan Report. All right, looking at a chart of the gold spot price. If you've been following the Vulcan Report, you should have known to move your stop on this one so that you can lock in some profit. If you did not do that, then you probably stopped out uh, of this particular uh, trade. But that's okay. We can uh, get ready for the next one. All right, going into the technicals. During the past 10 bars, there have been three white up candles and six black down candles for a net of three black down candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 22 white up candles and 27 black down candles for a net of five black down candles. The swing VIX indicates that the current market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. However, the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX as of yesterday's trading. All right, current long positions that are being held in the system is the first and second pulse wave. Uh, on the first pulse wave, long from the 12.16.74. On the second, 12.13.28. Of course, those um, trades, stops have been moved to lock in profit. So at this point, if you're late getting in the game, um, you're probably going to end up being stopped out, but at least you can make some profit here and wait for the next breakout to occur. No short entries to speak of. The trend channel is down, hence the red candle. The red candles indicate negative swing VIX. The blue candles indicate positive swing VIX, so negative and positive momentum. Okay. Uh, the trend channel is down right now. And what that simply means is that um, negative momentum is entering the market, so we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days. Uh, the last signal was an overbought sell eight periods ago. The swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings, and the swing VIX and price are not diverging. Six, the swing VIX crossed its moving average. Gold spot price has been unchanged and has ranged from a high of 1242.89 to a low of 1227.15. Currently, the trend is very bear, uh, bullish and pointing upward, and market condition is also very bullish. Gold spot is trading above the long term intermediate and short term moving averages. Uh, the gold spot closed below the upper volatility band by 3.7% leaving us 50.87% wider range than normal. The large width of the band suggests high volatility as compared to the gold spot's normal range. Therefore, the probability of volatility decreasing and prices entering into or remaining in a training range is increased for the near term. The bands have been in this wide range for two periods. The probability of prices consolidating into a less volatile trading range increases the longer the bands remain in this wide range. All right, pretty much the same thing for silver spot. Uh, during the past 10 bars, there have been six white up candles and three black down candles for a net of three white up candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 23 white up candles and 25 black down candles for a net of two black down candles. All right, as of yesterday's trading, we had a spinning top occurrence. A spinning top is a candle with a small real body. Spinning tops identify a session in which there is little price action. It's defined by the difference between the open and the close. During a rally or near new highs, a spinning top can be a sign that prices are losing momentum and the bulls may be in trouble. Three white candles occurred in the last three days. Although these candles were not big enough to create three white soldiers, the steady upward pattern is bullish. Currently, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line, and the pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX four periods ago. As far as positions go, there are no new long or short positions. Uh, last uh, pulse wave, first and second, were at 1898 and 1885 respectively. Those who were late to the party may want to try to at least, you know, lock in a dollar of profit in this one. It may be a little too late, but moving right on. Uh, the trend channel is up. This means that positive momentum is entering into the market, so we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. However, the swing VIX is above 29. 
This is where it usually forms resistance. The swing VIX is, uh, usually forms resistance before the underlying security. And the last signal that we have was an overbought sell 25 periods ago. The swing VIX has just crossed a, a point in which it's reached its highest value in the last 14 periods. And this is bullish. Uh, the swing VIX crossed its moving average. And since that has occurred, the price of silver spot has increased 6.19% in its range from a high of 1980 to a low of 1818. Currently, the trend is pointing upwards and the market condition is very bullish. We're currently trading above the long, intermediate, and short-term moving averages. Uh, as far as volatility, silver spot closed above the upper band by 10.1%. Although prices have broken the upper band and an upside breakout is possible, the most likely scenario is for the current trading range that Silver Spot is in for it to continue, leaving us 3.73% narrower than normal. So therefore, we remain neutral on volatility at this point for the Silver Spot. So pretty positive trading week uh, in the precious metals. We look forward to uh, some more uh, huge profits next week. Also stay tuned for the upcoming video on the uh, Forex. We'll be looking at the Euro, we'll be looking at the Australian dollar, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen and the British pound and the Canadian dollar. Um, all those markets treated as well this week too. And so we look forward to having um, a, a nice big week ahead on those also. Be encouraged and have a great weekend and Stay tuned.